Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm back again with a short video tutorial on how to get started and how to use some of the cool effects on your new Corsair RGB keyboard. Out of the negative things that I've heard and some of the negative stuff out of reviews, most people that have an issue have had an issue learning the software, which can be fairly complicated to learn. But once you get the hang of things, it's actually not that bad and I, I think most people could catch on and do just fine. The first thing that I'm going to do is leave the default profile and create a new one. I'm going to call mine Demo. This is also where you can assign your keyboard profile to a specific program or game. If you don't do it now, no worries, you can edit all these things later. You'll notice that your keyboard is one color. Now, before you do anything else, go to the new Corsair icon in your tray, right click it, and select the new profile you just created. This will allow you to see the changes you make in real time. Let's remove these default groups as well. We will keep the last one because it has all the keys in one group already. Select all the keys and set their color to black. This turns off all lights so that you don't get any colors mixing later. Highlight groups of keys and add them to their own group by right clicking one and then selecting add to group. You can do this with any pattern and as many or as few keys as you'd like. After creating a group, select it as well as a color. I'll do something quick and somewhat similar to the way I've seen at CES. When you're done, your keyboard should have changed to look like your groups. Now let's create a lighting effect. You've got several different types of effects to choose from, and when clicked, we'll show those that have already been created. To create a new one, click New. Regardless of the effect you choose, you'll want to click in the Intensity box and click Add at least once. This shows the color, duration, intensity, and pattern of the effect that you chose. To change the color, right click and select edit to choose a color. Depending on the effect, you may have to right click on the add markers at the top instead of the white in the intensity area to change the colors. Let's do this in wave instead of solid now. You'll see changing the colors here gives you different options such as fading colors. This should fade red to green. I'll only apply it to one group so that you can see how it works and how you can combine effects later. Select the group, then lighting effects list, and then choose an effect. I'll choose the one we just created, and I'll drag to apply. And now on your keyboard, you should see something like this. Select your all group, and let's add a multicolor wave effect that I created earlier. If I look at my effect as if I'm going to edit it, you can see how many colors have been added and what multiple points are useful for. Now your keyboard will look like this. You can make your effect constant, long, short, or whatever you want by selecting the group, edit light, and then adjusting these options. Finally, let's set an effect for when we type. This can be for only one key or multiple. Make sure your all group is selected. Now go next to your profile, click and enable type lighting. Then go back and select multiple keys or single keys. Then treat this just like other lighting effects. I'll keep it simple. Here's an example of what multiple keys will do. Now, let's try it with single key effects and watch the result.
Finally, I want to go over two other features quickly. If you click Performance, you're given a few options. These are applied when you click the lock on the top right of your keyboard. They lock the Windows keys that can commonly interrupt gameplay and is a very cool feature. The last little thing I'll hit on is Assignments. Here, you can select any key and assign any other key you want to it. Here, you can also assign an action to any key and make them a macro, a key shortcut, text, an actual shortcut, or a variety of other things completely customizable to you. There you have it quick tutorial that hopefully gives you some direction if you are struggling with the software or if you're just curious to see what other people have done. Hopefully it gave you some ideas there as well.